so what is the Rise to Shine method? Okay, the Rise to Shine method is a simple meditative self-coaching practice that helps you feel fantastic. And uh, how long does the Rise to Shine method take to do? Great question. Thank you for that. For me, it takes about seven minutes. Um, That's because I've done it a lot. When I teach it, um, when I teach you, it takes about half an hour in the morning and half an hour in the evening. And that's it. Okay, thank you. So what's involved in the Rise to Shine practice? Okay, so the Rise to Shine practice, as I've mentioned uh, a moment ago, it's firstly, it's a simple meditative self-coaching practice that helps you feel fantastic. It's really simple and there are four steps to it. The first step, you check in with how you're feeling and where you're at in at that given moment. You write it down and then you set your intention of how you want to feel by the end of the practice. Step two, I guide you through a guided visualisation, which is deeply, deeply relaxing, get you into a really relaxed mental and emotional state. And at the same time, I ensure that you're feeling alert and ready for step three. So step three, this is where I ask you some simple but carefully chosen self-coaching questions which are really powerful. These questions get you very clear about what's important for you in terms of how you want to feel and what you want to experience that day and it helps you, you, you identify the steps that you need to take and the things that you might need to overcome in order to create a day in the way that you want to create it in your unique way and how you want to feel as part of that process. Um, And also, just to add in, there is a a set of gratitude questions, which I do in quite a fun and unique way. Um, But I'll, I'll touch on that again. I'll just kind of like give you the bare bones for now. Step four. Step four is another check-in. You check in with yourself to see if you've met your intention, the one that you set at the beginning of the practice in terms of how you wanted to feel. And 99.9% of the time, you will, however you were feeling at the beginning of the practice, you will have shifted to an even more resourceful emotional state. When you're in a really resourceful emotional state, you're in the best place to make the best decisions and you feel highly motivated to put your steps into action to create the life, the the day that you want to create, the one that you've identified in your journal and through the practice. How often do you do the practice? Okay, well... It's a morning and evening practice that I do every day because no matter how I'm feeling, it shifts me into the next level. That's the power of the practice. Um, So I'm curious, you mention uh, that there's a morning practice and an evening practice. Uh, Are they the same or are they different in some way? Okay, that's a great question. So they are the same and they're different. And the reason that they're different is because they've got slightly different purposes. So the morning practice sets you up beautifully for the day. Then you go and do your day. And then at the end of the day, you give yourself space to reflect on your day you re-experience all the good bits, which feels amazing and gives you the motivation to do it again. Um, and it also just packs it up really neatly so that you can totally clear your mind before you go into a, a more restful state and sleep so that you can sleep deeply and feel great in the morning. How do I learn the Rise to Shine practice? Okay, well, it's a guided practice that you can learn in an hour. But I teach it as a guided seven-day programme called the Seven Day Reset. 
and that allows you to integrate it into your life really, really easily. How do I access the Rise to Shine practice as the guided seven day programme? Well, that's really easy. You just download it from the Rise to Shine website and it's yours to keep. We've made it a really accessible price because we want as many people to experience it as possible so that they can also feel amazing every day. So why should I do the Rise to Shine practice? What's it going to do for me um, and how will it help me? Those are great questions. I'll, um, I'll answer them one at a time. So why should you do the Rise to Shine practice? The reason why you should do the Rise to Shine practice is because it's going to help you experience your life at the next level. So wherever you're at, it's going to bring an extraordinary new level of enrichment to every experience of your life. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what's it going to do for you? OK, what's it going to do for you? It's going to help you to create a really easy routine that can sit alongside other routines that you have and bring a greater level of joy and meaning to all areas of your life in a really easy way. Um, okay, how will it help you? It's going to, I'm not going to be able to fully answer that question because it's going to help you in an infinite number of ways. So it depends on where you're at, what you want to create in your life, what you want to let go of in your life. And it's gonna help you to create little changes in your world with great impact, directed by you in response to your own unique ways. And it's gonna totally transform your experience of life. When we talked about the four steps to the Rise to Shine practice, you said you use gratitude in a particular way. Tell us what that is. Okay, I, I absolutely love the gratitude part of the practice. And I do it in a really fun and joyful way, which takes you deeply into the feeling of gratitude. So you really feel it in every part of your body and what that does is it helps fuel your motivation for you to more easily take the steps that you need to take in order to create the day that you want that's going to make you feel extraordinary. How did the Rise to Shine health and wellbeing event come about? That's a great question. Okay, it firstly it came about because it came to me in my Rise to Shine practice. And it kept coming to me in my practice in the form of an awareness of the importance of the timing, of bringing the Rise to Shine practice to a wider audience in a different way. And the reason the timing is so important is because we have all been experiencing an incredible amount of change that we could not have foreseen. And from this, there has been a lot of feelings of, a lot of unsettling feelings, perhaps frustration, overwhelm. It's even been traumatic for many, many, many people. And I can't think of anybody who has not been affected in the last couple of years, either mentally, emotionally, physically or spiritually in one way by the things that have been asked of us by the situation that we've all found ourselves in. I knew that the Rise to Shine practice was one of the keys to help overcome some of the challenges that people have been facing in the last few years. And it, to help restore people's ability to thrive. And what I mean by that is many people's view of what normal is, is different to what it was. And so 
I am so aware of the impact of the Rise to Shine practice in its own right and its ability and power to positively impact how people can consciously create a life that feels amazing every day. And so in bringing this to a a bigger platform, I have also invited people who are experts in their own specialist fields because the Rise to Shine practice has highlighted the need to bring awareness and solutions to global challenges affecting people's mental, emotional, physical and spiritual health and well-being. And so I've created this event to help people thrive in these extraordinary times. So why should I go to the Rise to Shine Health and Wellbeing event? What will I get out of it? Those are great questions, thank you. And I'm so excited to be able to answer them. Firstly, I'm gonna guide you through the Rise to Shine practice in person and you're going to feel really grounded centered and empowered because the practice gives you space to reconnect with yourself on a deeper level in a powerful and positive way. There's also going to be workshops, talks and demos showing you how to cultivate a life of vitality with food as your medicine. You're going to be learning about natural healing modalities so that you know how to enhance your natural ability to heal from within. There's going to be meditation, movement and music, opening pathways and activating joy. There's also going to be the Rise to Shine room. This is a slightly smaller and more intimate room where you're going to, you can chill and chat and connect with me personally and some of the incredible people in my book and the Rise to Shine team. There are going to be complimentary therapists there where you can have free complimentary therapies, which you may not have experienced before. There are, you can go on a guided woodland walk to reconnect you with nature if you haven't managed to get the balance of nature into your life and world recently. So you're gonna walk away feeling refreshed, connected and empowered you're going to feel connected to a wider community of people and you're going to be able to walk away with practical ways to make simple changes that can have a big impact on your health and well-being so that you can build your resilience to be able to handle life's challenges for whenever they they appear. You're going to walk away with your next steps of how to thrive in these extraordinary times. And that is really important.